Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at some Cayman Square Toes from Roman Boots. Now, Roman Boots is a company out of San Antonio, and their boots are made in Leon, Mexico. And I believe they've been around since 2017 or 2018. Now, on their website, they mainly have cow hides and hand tooled boots and they're all square toe and they kind of have a shorter shaft i mean it's like a real stockman boot but they've recently added came into their website and there's two different styles they're pretty much the same but one is a three-piece vamp and the other is a one-piece vamp so with that out of the way what do you say we take a look at these boots here's a look at the box it's pretty simple and understated it's just bare cardboard and it's got stamped TXRB Roman boots. It's also stamped here on the sides, even on this side and this one. And here's the label. The style of the boot they're calling the Bulldog. The color is Cafe, which I believe is going to be the brown. They're offered in brown and black. It's kind of a chocolate brown. And it says Coco Belly. I'm not sure if that's supposed to say Croco Belly, but it's Cayman Belly. So let's take a look at them. This one is the three piece vamp, which doesn't bother me that much. Some people don't like it. It really doesn't bother me. It does have some paper in the toes and it had a shaft shaper on one of them. I gotta tell you, the smell is borderline intoxicating leather smell. It smells more like leather than any of the other Caymans that I've tried or alligators. It's a nice smell. <laughs> You're going to like it. And so the tops, when I get it in person, the tops look a little bit taller than they did on the website to me. I was afraid it was going to be like a, like a, I don't know, nine or 10 inch shaft, but it looks like it's an 11 which is fine, uh, you find that in most Stockman boots. The Cayman belly looks really nice. I don't see any flaws on it. You can see here on the side where it's pieced together and also on this side. But you know, they've done a really good job where it's really not that noticeable. I've seen other Cayman boots where that seam really sticks out. This one to me isn't all that noticeable. And then, you know, you've got your heel counter piece here and the one piece on the back. But I, to me, I like the way all of this looks. I think it's a nice looking Cayman hide. The shaft has some pretty intricate stitching and it's, I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but it's three different colors. You've got some tan and then under that is chocolate brown and also here and on the edge of the chocolate brown is some gold stitching. It looks really nice. And I like the design of it. I haven't seen many boots with a design similar to that. So they've come up with their own look and I think it looks nice. It's got leather sole that is stamped Roman boots with that TXRB on there. It is a double stitch welt. You can see that. And it's, uh, it's the dark brown all the way around the welt. Sometimes you'll see it and it's a raw leather color. This one's actually dyed the dark brown like the rest of the sole. It's a three quarter welt with brass nails, but it's a nice looking sole. Has a stacked leather heel. And you can really tell on this one that it is stacked leather. So there's no question about it. A pretty thick heel cap. On the inside, it has the exposed seams. And they stick out a little bit, but they're finished off really smooth. I don't see it being a problem as far as rubbing your calf. The lining is really soft. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like cheap pig skin to me. It feels like a decent cow hide. It's, it's pretty soft. It's not quite as soft as like the lining on a Chisos or a Tacovas, but it's a lot softer than the Lucchese I tried not too long ago. If you haven't seen that review, I'll put it right up here. The sole is leather to about the ball of the foot and then it's cloth. And these boots have memory foam in the sole. 
and it's in the forefoot up through the arch it feels a lot like the other boots you know a Tacovas or something like that there's a little bit of give there but when you get to the heel it's got a thick piece of memory foam to really give you some shock absorption I'm anxious to try these on and see how that feels. It feels a little weird to my hand, honestly, and feels like it could be uncomfortable. So when we try it on, that's something I'm definitely going to be looking for. The Cayman hide is a little stiffer than the Rujos that I tried. And if you haven't seen that review, I'll put that right here as well. But they don't feel like they're going to be uncomfortable. It feels nice. It just doesn't have quite as much give across the forefoot. Okay, so now we're done with that. What do you say we try on these boots? There's a little bird's eye shot for you. All right, guys. So I think they look pretty nice. When I look at them from the top, it's, it is a wide square toe, but it tapers just a little bit. So it's not as wide as some others that I've seen. But I like the way they look. Now, it was pretty tight through the throat and the forefoot when I was putting it on. Now, once it's on, it feels nice. It feels like it should. But it is, you know, just a little bit tighter than, say, my Ariats or my Chisos. So keep that in mind when ordering. But I think they look good, they feel good. That thicker foam in the heel actually feels nice. It's, uh, it's got, you know, it's, because it's thicker, it creates a little ridge on the front of it, but you don't really feel that once it's on. So I was afraid it was gonna be uncomfortable, but it's not, it feels good. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I think they look good, they feel good. And they look like they're pretty good quality. So I like them. What do you say we go back up top? Okay, so final thoughts. Guys, I'm pretty impressed with this boot and I like it. Now it does work for me. It felt comfortable, but it is a little bit tighter across the top of the forefoot here and the throat of the boot. It was a little tighter getting on. Now it was still comfortable. I still liked it. It works for me but it is a little bit tighter than say my Ariats or my Chisos. So if you're thinking about picking these up, you might want to go up a half size, especially in the Cayman because it's not going to stretch near as much as a cowhide would. But it's put together really well. I love the shaft with the stitching and also the height of it is taller than what I thought, which is perfect for me. You know, the stack leather heel, the good sole, three quarter welt, is pretty much all you could ask for especially for the price. This three-piece vamp is coming in at $269, and the one-piece is coming in at $295. That's a hard price to beat. So yes, absolutely, these get the Lone Star stamp of approval. All right, so that's all I have for today, guys. I'll put a link to their website down in the description. They're also on social media, so look them up and follow them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all of you who are watching. Please don't forget to check out my Patreon down below, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.